guys, welcome to today's video. Now I've messed up the order, I don't know what day of the week this is going to get posted, but today we are going thrifting and we are going to be doing a bingo, book bingo while thrifting. I thought of this idea a few weeks ago, so I got my patrons to help me out creating this bingo board. And the idea is like, if you go thrifting for books often, you'll know that there are some books or some authors that are just like always there. And so what I asked was for them to give me ideas of different kinds of books that they see often. And I'm going to see if I can get a bingo while thrifting. There's two different thrift stores we might go to, maybe only one if we're very successful. I thought I would tell you what's all on the bingo and then we will go see if we can get one. So we've got a childhood favorite. That one's pretty vague. I really liked, I think it was on Instagram, the reel oh, like a year ago that was like, historical fiction always has a woman walking away. So I said a cover that has a woman walking away. Someone said the kite rum runner, um, a movie edition of a book, three plus copies of the same book, a pretty cover, a Nancy Drew. I actually oddly see more Hardy Boys than Nancy Drew. We'll see what we can find. Title has more than six words, an edition, an edition of a book I've never seen before, a purpose-driven life, that one's often there, a book in the Twilight series, a confusing cover, there's lots of it there, a book I've donated before, a Jane Austen, title starts with one of my initials, so we can have a title that starts with a C, A, D, or K, first sentence is in quotes, so I actually have to look inside a book there. Um, a Murphy book. So this is a book that Murphy Napier would read or talk about. The two thrift stores I'm going to today often have like a fairly heavy Christian fiction leaning. And I mean, it's a thrift store, so things are going to be different all the time. But I think this one would be really hard. A book with a wintry cover, an older or vintage nature book. I like that idea because I have an obsession with those. A classic. A dated fiber arts hobby book, that'll be fun. A book in the Left Behind series. A big blue dictionary. Um, I don't know if they have, like if these are a Canadian thing or what they are. I have an idea in my mind and I often see these at thrift stores, but I don't actually know what it is. Um, and a Karen Kingsbury book. So we're gonna go thrifting, see if we can find enough of these to make a bingo. So let's go. Just one. Just one leg. It's just one leg. It's just one leg. Maybe those shoes are fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's an addition I've never seen before. Her face. I'm not sure about that one. Are you saying you know that it's you? <laughs> Now the question is, do I buy it? It's illustrated though. Illustrated. I'm, okay, I'm not a huge fan of the illustrations though. It doesn't have a dust jacket, but in the Left Behind series. I spy with my little eye. One Nancy Drew amongst a bunch of Hardy Boys. Why are Hardy Boy Boys always more common? There are some like older copies of Nancy Drew here too. <gasps> older copies? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, look at those ones. I've seen these editions before. I haven't either. Yeah. What numbers are those? Uh, oh, there's <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, there's two books in one. Oh, okay. Somebody 19, wrote on it. 22, I can't read that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 37, 38. You've got to excuse my ignorance. <laughs> I don't know if this is one of the Twilight books. <laughs> it's Stephanie Meyer. It's got Edward and Jacob, that's all I know. It's book three. Okay. It's, it's in the Twilight series. Did you know that? Me? Yeah. Uh, it looks the same, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a race. 
we're going to try to find a book that has a first sentence in quotes. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready? Set? Go. The middle grade section has to have something that I liked in childhood. <clears throat> Wait, does it have baby sitters club? I just found three of the same copies or something. <gasps> oh, you found three! Yes, that's another one! Three plus copies. Totally can't. Totally <laughs> I almost have a bingo. <laughs> that looks like a winner. Yeah. Okay. Three plus copies. I just need a classic, and I have a bingo. But mm -hmm. Dewey, I mean, <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat. I read. <laughs> what? That looks so bad. Hey, wait, but what personality do you have? Bright and dogs? Did you have like nerdy cats? Cause like <laughs> that was named after the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, which you probably don't know what it is because you're too young. <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> So, I'm still looking for a childhood classic. Oh, I read some of these as a kid. The Mandy books. I didn't really like them. There's no Babysitter's Club. Why is there never any Babysitter's Club? This was a really... Oh, we read this one in school. I liked this. It's an interesting addition. I can always find one. <gasps> you found one! She's trying to cheat for me. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you don't know, think I can hear you. Ooh, a mystery. Oh. Definitely love the Babysitter's Club. I found you the best book. I don't know if that looks like it's a Christmas, a Christmas surprise. <laughs> I found it. Oh, yes, it's a Canadian Intermediate Dictionary. That's the big blue dictionary I was talking about. There's one, a newer version, and another one. Always, always lots of those. It's, it's a school it's yearbook. It's a school yearbook. Well, if you want vintage photos for any collaging, I mean, like it's kind of tempting in some ways. As weird as that is, I kind of like that. Interesting find. Interesting, all sorts. It this was Shelley's. Seems that Shelley was the one who owned this. What's weirder, bringing that to the thrift store or buying it from the thrift store? I don't know. Okay, I needed to find a dated fiber arts hobby book. I'm in the craft section, so I mean, we could do some Disney family crafts. That's always an option for our family time. Let's see what do we got here. Fiber, decorating makeovers. Oh no, here we go. Complete knitting, dressmaking, and needle craft guide. Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Oh, 
We used to own this book. This, literally, I used this so much as a kid. Reka, it wasn't ours. Look at this. This is my childhood. That was your childhood? This is my childhood, like that could have been me. <laughs> the blonde one? Oh my goodness. I kind of want to buy this. <laughs> Is taking me back. Oh my goodness! I should I should make my mom. There was a there was a craft. Oh, or my dad, I could make that <laughs> for Christmas. There. Yes. Do that. I could that. sweep the porch for her. <laughs> I got distracted. I need to find a classic. Well, but I need to cross off my. Very dated fiber arts hobby book. Oh, if I can find a Karen Kingsbury, I would get a double. You just need that, and then I can get that. A classic should be easy to find in theory. I won't do Anne, and there is another Anne, but I won't do that either. I'll just knock all the books. Do for a classic. James Patterson, sh Patterson should have been on this list. His books are always at thrift stores. Uh, oh, oh. James Joyce's Dubliners. Definitely a classic. I don't know if this one's any good. Maybe I should buy this one. Officially have a bingo. I haven't found one of hers yet, though. I kind of want to go for a double. Christian fiction, but no Karen Kingsbury. Okay, I'm back from my book bingo and a walk outside. My glasses are still defogging, but I got a bingo. I actually didn't think I would be able to get that in one store if I use my free space here. I found three plus copies of the same book. In addition, I've never seen before. First sentence is in quotes. That was fun to race and win. And a classic. And then I got so close to the Karen Kingsbury. Almost got a double. I am going to leave this in the description box, a link where you guys can download this and try it out yourself. I think it'd be fun to do it again in a different store or a different time of year or something and see if I can get a bingo a different way. I guess I also found a childhood favorite. I forgot to cross that one off. There were definitely some things that I have seen often at thrift stores before that I didn't see this time, like a purpose-driven life. The whole like, Christian section was actually pretty empty, but I think we did pretty good. Uh, so thanks for joining me for the book bingo, and I will be back soon with another video.